All right, this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. I'm glad today it's a nice, beautiful day. I'm back out here in my garden, and I got a special request, and the request is to make a V8 juice with the Omega Vert Juicer. So basically what a V8 juice is, it includes eight different vegetables. So here's the ingredients for V8. Reconstituted vegetable juice blend, uh, water and concentrated juices of tomatoes, carrots, celery, beets, parsley, lettuce, watercress, and spinach. Of course, they're adding also salt and vitamin C, natural flavoring, and citric acid. So let's see, we're gonna make that today fresh. Number one, of course, is the tomatoes. So we got some tomatoes here. We got a carrot, and we got some uh, celery. We got a beet, and then also it's uh, spinach and parsley. So we have some uh, curly parsley and some flat leaf parsley here, and some lettuce. So I have uh, basically red romaine and some other regular lettuce. And most of these ingredients are actually picked fresh out of my garden just minutes ago. So the other thing I want to mention is that right now DiscountJuicers.com has the Omega Vert Juicer in stock. It has been out of stock for a little while and they've been having supply shortages, but we have plenty right now in stock. All right, so let's get start juicing. I guess the first thing we want to do when we're juicing in the vert is we're going to rotate the produce as you put it in. So we're going to turn the machine on. It's nice and quiet. And first we're going to just drop a piece of celery in there. And I really like how the celery just drops in and is juiced without even pushing it in. Now we're gonna cut up the carrot. This is an oversized jumbo carrot from a locally uh, grown farm here in town. So it's uh, nice and big. Most smaller sized carrots uh, can fit maybe if you cut them in half into the vert without cutting them up. And we'll just drop that in there juices right up now it's really important when you're juicing something soft like tomatoes you know to put a tomato in and then follow it by something you know harder so we just put one tomato in it's gonna juice that and we're gonna follow that with some uh, some of this fresh lettuce lettuce is really excellent to juice actually that's that's a base to my juice sometimes you could get the uh, romaine hearts and that's really good to juice Go ahead and put another carrot in there. I'm sorry, a tomato. Now you know we're not gonna get that nice, deep, rich, dark red color that you know we're all familiar with that's in a V8. And you know, the reason for this is because the V8 juice that you buy in the store, you know, they make the juice and then it's basically cooked or heat processed, so it's devoid of all enzymes. Enzymes are very important for us. They all they are little fatty protein molecules that cause basically reactions in our body and it's allow us to do everything we do literally. So those are the tomatoes. So now we're going to put some arugula in. The original V8 recipe calls for watercress. I'm actually not growing watercress, but arugula is actually very close. It'll give us that nice spicy tangy flavor. So let's go ahead and put the arugula in there. All right, let's go ahead and put this parsley in here. How about some spinach? All right. Nothing better than fresh picked greens going into the juice. Of course, in V8 juice, they also may add things like salt to make it taste better. So, uh, you know, of course, you could do that. I don't recommend adding salt to your juice. So let's put a couple more tomatoes in there, as tomatoes are an essential element to the V8. See if we can kind of get that red color. Go ahead and juice some of this uh, red romaine. When you're juicing beets, it's very important only to, you know, not use that much beets. You can't get actually pretty sick by juicing straight beets. So you put the beet in there, and I'll put some more arugula in there. And listen to that juicer work there. All right, how about some more tomato? And some carrot. Now one of the things you might notice about the Omega Vert juicer is that it te does tend to make a little bit pulpier juice than some other juicers, and that's just because of the design. So if this does bother, you could uh, you know, basically put a 
put a sieve as the juice comes out to basically sieve out the juice or you could run the juice through what's called a, a paint strainer bag or a uh, sprout bag or a nut milk bag. So as you can see the uh, pulp coming out on this side is actually very dry. And that's one of the benefits of the Omega Vert Juicer. It does do a fairly good job on extracting all the juice out of that produce. The really important thing is when you're using the Omega Vert is to make sure that as you're juicing, you know, you don't feed things in too qu quickly. If you feed things in too quickly, the machine will back up and that, ac that actually will cause more pulp to be in your juice. And as you can see, we're done actually putting things in, but you can still see pulp is coming out and that's because the juicer inside there is still running to extract all that juice from all the pulp. And you can see the automatic wiping blade that spins around. It's basically a silicone wiping blade, much like the windshield wipers on your car. It keeps the screen clean so you get a higher yield. I kind of just like to look at it sometimes. It looks really cool. All right, so the uh, pulp is just about stopped coming out. We're going to go ahead and turn the juicer off. And uh, what, what better instrument to stir our juice, juice up with than a carrot? So we're going to stir our juice up and let's see if we get that classic V8 red color. Oh, and some people ask me about the foam. John, you know, what's up with the foam? Can I drink the foam? Should I pour it off? You know what? All juicers will create some level of foam and the level of foam depends on the juicer and the produce being juiced. If you don't want to drink the foam, you can put it through a gravy strainer or a sieve to get rid of that foam, but it's perfectly fine to drink. So there we go. We got it mixed up and not quite that classic red color that we're looking for, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Man, that's good. That tastes... I don't know, I haven't had a V8 in a long time, so... All I know is it tastes really dang close to what my memory of a V8 is. So this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com with the uh, homemade V8 juice here in the Omega Vert Juicer. So be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.